On the folio opposite Athelbert's Law Code, Elizabeth Elstob left behind evidence of her scholarly reading of Textus Refensus during the reign of Queen Anne. She made an annotation of what she called Saxon characters. These are the Anglo-Saxon or Old English letters which Elstob identified were used throughout the early medieval texts that form the bulk of the first half of the manuscript. You can see her initials, EE, -E, here at the end of her list. Most of the Saxon characters are recognisable to modern readers, though a few may be more difficult to identify, including the letter G with its flat top. The long letter R, which has a descender, that's the pen stroke that goes below the scribe's line, as seen here in Athelbert's code in the word Friedman. Freeman. The tall letter S, of which you see an example here in the word Schillingar, shillings. The letter T, which has the bar sitting on top, rather than crossing through an ascender, the upward stroke of a letter, as it does in our modern T. Elstop shows three forms of the letter Y. Notice how the first two have dots above them. You can see two examples of its use in the word Kuning, King, and nearby is the Y without a dot, as the first letter of the word Evel, Evil. Old English has a letter known as Win, which corresponds to the sound of modern day W. Elstop shows it here, and you can see an example in Athelbert's code in the word huite, a fine. It's easy to mistake it for the letter P. Another character used in Old English is the letter ash, which makes the sound a, like the a in cat. Elstob also shows the two Old English letters that both correspond to the sounds th and th. First she gives eth, which is like the Saxon character d, but with a pen stroke going across the ascender, though this is quite faint now. There's a clear example here, at the end of the word of slith, slays. And then she writes a thorn, which resembles the win, but has an ascender. Here's an example in the word frith, peace. Elstob also shows two common abbreviations that appear throughout the Old English texts. The symbol for the word and, which somewhat resembles the number seven. You can see a clearer example here, before the word erle, all. And the abbreviation for the word that, which is a thorn with a stroke crossing the ascender, shown here in Athelbert's code. Finally, notice that Elstob explains eth thorn and the abbreviation for that below their respective characters. Thank you.